Alright, hey guys, welcome to another Crunker tutorial. This video is going to be a complete Crunker modeling guide. As always, any addition, omission, or clarifications to the content in this video will be added in the pinned comment below. Let's begin. Going back to the main folder. Going back to the mod zip. Under models, you have attached body collectibles, face, etc. And the rest here will be the models in the game, like the crates and the containers. As a heads up, the changing all these in your Conqueror's Hopper will make you not be able to play the game. They coded it such that it will block you from being able to play the game if you have any custom uh, in-game models, like the, crate, like the crates and all that. I'm gonna show you something. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I won't show you the crate mod. No man, that'll be it for another video. Alright, getting files from the texture viewer. So search Kanka texture viewer. Control Shift I Network. Select your skin. Wrap DK. Oh never mind. Say the Vesper the Esper skin. You can download the OBJ file by double clicking it. It will download immediately. This is how you find the name of your gun also. Let's say you put you you spun the sprayer skin and you wanna use it in your concrete source hopper. So go to here, sprayer. You know that it's weapon underscore four underscore three five nine dot png. So you can get a Esper for example, download that, change the weapon underscore four underscore fifteen to weapon underscore four underscore three five nine. Like the texture name, you know, not the OBJ, like this one. Change this texture name to 4 underscore 359. Watch the Kronker Resource Hopper tutorial so you know how to change little stuff. I'm gonna show you. So you save it. Go to your documents, Kronker Resource Hopper, textures, weapons, drop that in. Then rename it to the f weapon that you have. So you check the sprayer is 4 underscore 359. The same goes for models. Models, weapons, drop the 4 underscore 15 and rename it to weapon underscore 4, which is the default name. Which is here also. All here. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of Blender. Blender, you, you can import OBJ. I'll find a model for you. Say so import a model, right? Say you want to cut off the front part of the model. You add a cube, add mesh cube. Hold S to change the size. And then you can change all this. The location here, X, Y, Z. Cut off the front part, right? So you, so you use the cube, overlay over the front part. Go to the gun model, click on the object. Modifier, add modifier, boolean, object here will be the cube, overlap threshold just max, apply, yep, another modifier, which is wireframe, wireframe basically creates this cool effect, the hackusate effect, so you can create any model to be hackusate. Hack is it die no problem. If you wanna learn how to bake models, which is two models combined into one texture, go watch the texturing guide. The links are in the description. In edit mode, you can select one of the sides, say select one of the points here, right click, dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. Or you can just delete them. So like the model is basically all these points connected to each other. If you delete one of these points, there will be a hole in the model. So that's how you remove parts of the model that you don't like. Let's say you don't like this uh this side of the shotgun. You can just delete. So that side is gone. So that's how you delete any part of the model that you don't like. That's an alternative of using the boolean that I showed just now. 
Alright, I think that's all. Alright, now mind, let's have one more thing. Shading. Say you learned how to use Blender. Actually learned how to use Blender and know how to use shading. All this won't work in Kronker. Kronker doesn't allow you to use all these shaders. Alright, have fun with that. And then when, once you export the OBJ file, there'll be an MTL file that will go along with it. That's not necessary in, in the mods that you make. I think that's all. That's all for the tutorial. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below on the Discord server. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.